I think violence has been off the hook in recent years, and the transit system and other public safety, uh, public ser uh, public spaces are feeling the brunt of some of that. With the number of security incidents on Winnipeg transit buses doubling since 2020, a former Winnipeg police officer has been tabbed to spearhead the city's new community safety team with the aim of putting a halt to the alarming trend. To me, it's always resonated to try and think about what are the root causes of the problems and try and bring resources that address those rather than just reacting uh, with enforcement. With 34 years of experience on the force, in addition to a doctorate in peace and conflict studies, Bob Christmas says transit passengers can expect a visible presence on city buses once the unit hits the streets. Well, there's definitely going to be a, a high visible presence. That's a key component that goes to building trust and public safety. So we'll be there. We'll be offering a, a visible presence and security, but then when we do engage with people, we'll be looking at what the actual needs are and the root causes of what brought them there. With already 201 security incidents reported so far this year, up from 130 in 2022, the president of the Amalgamated Transit Union, Chris Scott, calls the appointment of Christmas a significant step in the right direction, saying in part, we look forward to working collaboratively with the city of Winnipeg and the transit safety team with Robert Christmas to implement effective security protocols that not only safeguard our transit employees, but also ensure a safe and comfortable commuting experience for all passengers. But in the eyes of former Winnipeg bus driver Todd Picklick, he questions whether the new measure will be enough. If we're just going to be hiring security guards to take care of this situation, it's not going to change anything. You're going to have the exact same issues that you do at any of your grocery stores that you used to at the Liquor Commission where it's still a free-for-all. I think from a public standpoint, what we need is we need an actual police team to be on the transit services. Christmas says there is no concrete timetable for when the new unit will start, but says he's planning on meeting with Winnipeg Transit in the coming days to discuss how best the two sides can work together. From Winnipeg, Kurt Black, City News. Next on City News.